Listener, I need your help with something. Your nose is red. Your eyes are bloodshot. You've been crying. Why? Yes, I realize when people cry, it's because of their, they're upset. <sighs> Let me rephrase. Why are you upset? No reason. I find that hard to believe. Though that could possibly be a answer. It's not yours. You're lying to me. And I don't like liars. I also don't see why you find the need to lie. There's no point. Enlighten me. Why do you feel the need to lie to me about why you're upset? It's not a big deal. I also find that hot that also hard to believe. If you're crying, and you're upset, then this thing has whatever it is. It's bad enough to your standards that it makes you cry. So that makes it important. If it's bad enough to make you cry, It automatically is important. So tell me, what brought you to the state of tears? Insecurities. What insecurities? About yourself. Um, I don't quite follow. Elaborate. The way you look. Well, that's just idiotic. That's not meant as an insult. Simply a fact. Why would you be insecure? Because you don't like the way you look. <sighs> Another idiotic statement. Sit down. I said sit. Well, if this topic has brought you to tears, it seems important enough to talk about. So sit down. You need to tell me that you're crying about the fact that you don't like the way you look. I said that's idiotic, and I stand by that statement. I don't mean to make you upset, but it simply is not true. You shouldn't be insecure about the way you look. Now, I realize that me saying that isn't going to fix it or make you think any differently. But you being insecure simply doesn't have any factual evidence or reasoning behind it. Therefore, there's no point. It's wrong. What do I mean? <sighs> By society standards, you are attractive. And by my 
high standards. I don't see why that matters. What I think. I do realize you're my partner. And I'm yours. But the way you think about yourself shouldn't be validated by what I think of you. Or what others think of you. You should like the way you look. Because you are attractive. Yes, by my standards. Do you honestly believe I would waste my time with somebody else who wasn't up to my standards? You think I can find I'd be able to find somebody else? At this school? Around here? <sighs> Even if that were the case, which I can almost a hundred percent guarantee you that it isn't. I chose you. I'm with you for a reason. Nobody else has been able to handle me. Every school that I've gone to, every place that I've visited, any person that I've come in close proximity with, simply do not know how to act. They get scared, or they become a blithering idiot. More than they already are. And you were the first person other than my family to not treat me any differently. You are also not a blithering idiot. You know what you're talking about. You have an IQ higher than most of these people at this school. Almost higher than mine. So if you believe that I will find anyone else better than you, that's simply just another idiotic statement. I wouldn't be able to find somebody else who's better than you. Because they're not. That person simply does not exist. You are the closest thing be defined as perfect. And don't let that go to your head. It's simply just a fact. <sighs> You're still insecure. Do you still believe that I don't like the way you look? Do you believe that that matters? I don't love you for your body. I like you. I like your body because I like you. I don't, I don't like seeing you upset. And I'm not very good at giving advice or consoling people, I've been told. But considering the fact that my observations so far in my statements have been very accurate, in the past. I do wish that you'll believe me now when I tell you that to me 
You're perfect. And no one is going to be able to beat you. And I could care less about the way you look. The fact that you're here with me even after everything that's happened I couldn't possibly think of a better place to be so please don't make me say it again don't be insecure there simply is just no reason to be Believe me.